big one. Big one. Oh gosh. He's pulling. Yep. Monster. Monster in the net. This might be my craziest day bass fishing ever if this if this keeps up. Alright guys, today I got a beautiful afternoon. We got clouds and we got barometric pressure that is dropping right now. So these fish are gonna be feeding. We have a storm coming in tonight and it's gonna be sticking through the whole weekend. So in this lake the water is really high. We've had a lot of rain recently, so all the lakes around me are pretty much flooded. So I'm out in a canoe right now. I'm gonna fish for a couple hours and I'm hopefully gonna catch some giant bass. Big one. Big one. Oh gosh. <clears throat> and I want to start out with a white and gold spinnerbait. This is my absolute favorite bait to throw in the fall for bass and pike. And uh, we've got some deep water here. It's even deeper because of the flood. And uh, I'm gonna slow roll it down through there. Cause that's where the big bass should be lurking right now. Possibly on the edges of weeds. There's a fish, first cast guys. Possibly on the edges of weeds. Um, waiting for bluegill to swim by. That is first cast, a large valve. That is a really good sign. He's not huge, but that is a fish. Just like I said, Everything's coming into plan. Nice little fish there, a little bit skinny. Hopefully he'll eat some more this fall. Another one. It's a good fish. Heck yeah, dude. Dude, this is my, what is this, fourth cast? Third or fourth. It's, oh gosh. Oh gosh. My, oh my gosh, it's a giant. It's a big fish. I really want the net for this guy. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Dude, are you freaking joking? Fourth cast in, and it's a freaking hog? Oh my freaking gosh. Dude. The plan is all coming together, boys. Are you actually joking right now? This might be in an absolutely insane day of fishing, guys. All on the spinner bait. This bait is absolutely magical in the fall, I'm telling you. You guys gotta pick this bait up at uh, War Eagle War Eagle Custom Lures. That is a chunk, that's like a three or four pounder. All right, guys, here it is. Look at this chunk, dude. This is a chunk. This fish is so eating so well down there. I don't know what it's eating. It's got to be just choking up bluegill all the day, all day long. And with this fall, perfect weather, water's cooling down. Awesome fish. I'm gonna get him back. Dude, let's go, guys. I'm forecasting in two bass, and one of them was a big in. Especially for fall, this is gonna be absolutely awesome. Just creeping it low and slow. I can feel the spinnerbait going through weeds down there. That's exactly what I want. I learned the fall bite on this lake last year. November, like early November, first couple days in November, I came here, did this exact same thing, and smoked them. If you wanna see the pictures of that, that's on my Instagram. Yep, another good one. Dude, he smushed it, smoked it, destroyed it, whatever you wanna call it, right here. Thumped it real, real good. It's another two and a half. Looks out, look at the colors on this guy. Pretty sick. All right, he wants to go. Three fish, eight minutes of fishing so far. Absolutely love it, love it. Oh my gosh, smoked. Giant, another giant. Smoked. Oh, okay, he's not giant, he's not giant. My bad. He looked big when he came up to jump. So I'm gonna tell you what, guys. We're gonna keep hooking them all in the perfect corner of the mouth. Because I set the hook sideways, that's exactly what you want. These fish have sharp teeth right now, really sharp, because they're eating so many bluegill. This guy's not, but uh, I'm gonna commit a felony today because I'm absolutely murdering these fish. Absolutely slaughtering. We might go double digits for bass today. I'm hoping so. I think, I think it's probably gonna happen. At least 10 fish. Um, just because of how insane the bite is, but. The one thing I want to fish that corner. That corner is usually really good, but I can't get it. Can't get in there because the wind just pushes me out really fast every time. That fish hit it hard. Another one. That might be a good one. Yeah. 
that's a good fish if that's if that's not weeds that's a really big bass guys that's a really big bass oh my gosh this is incredible oh my gosh yeah big one big one big one oh gosh he's pulling he's pulling oh my gosh it's giant it is giant And then, yep, monster, monster in the net, giant. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me right now. You're freaking kidding me. Look at this fish, guys. Look at this fish. You're freaking kidding me. Spinnerbait's out. It's a freaking giant. He's been caught before, but oh my gosh, look at the thing. It's like a five pounder. Look at this thing's mouth. It's like, oh my gosh. You're kidding me right now. Mm. Okay. I want to get a weight on this fish. I want to see how big he is. This is absolutely absurd. Come on, sail. There we go, pounds. He's not super beefy, but he does have the length to him. So we'll see here. We'll see what he goes. Four, four, two. All right, that's a good one. All right, back in the net. Oh, it's a stud, man. That's a stud. Four pounder. That's my biggest bass of the fall yet. It's an awesome fish though. I'm having a blast out here. Look at this fish, man. Chunky. This might just be the day to break my PB, I don't know. That would be a six pounder because my PB is a 515. So we'll see what happens. This is the, these are the perfect, absolutely perfect conditions. It could not get any better on a lake that I know has fish over six pounds. Barometric pressure dropping, storm coming in, cloudy in the afternoon, a little bit of wind, cold, fall. Like every single condition is absolutely perfect. So I'm not surprised that we're just hammering them. Smallest fish of the day, but he is blue. That is kind of weird. He is silver and blue. He's got a weird shine effect to his lips right there. That might be another good one. Oh, he just came off right there. No. That was another good one. I felt it pull from his lips. Dang it. I probably had him in the corner of the mouth, just like all the other ones, and it, I was pulling on too hard, and I tightened my drag, and it, uh, it ripped right from his lips. I felt it come out. There he is. Okay, so we should be good with this fish now because I set the hook up. There we go. Look at that. Look at that hook placement. I gotta keep doing that from now on. Set the hook top of the mouth so it can't, can't rip out. But just another little dude. I'm gonna get out into the stuff with more wind. It seems like there's more fish that are hitting out there. Out in the deeper water with more wind, just more commotion overall. It seems like a better spot to be throwing the spinnerbait. Another little dinker, but what do you expect right by the, the public dock? Next cast cast in a row, a little bit smaller. Might be a little bit bigger. Yep, just a little bit. 
Uh, I'm gonna use need the net on this guy or else he's gonna come off. I barely got him in the corner of the mouth, I think. Alright. This lake, I keep getting blown. It's really just it's it's bad, alright? So I'm gonna get head on over all the way to the far side. I'm gonna be able to fish my way all throughout that middle part that I haven't got to hit yet. There we go. Little dude. Wow, that might be the smallest of the day. Another one? Are you kidding me, dude? Two casts in a row. Just like that. We are definitely at double digit fish now. And he's got the same silver stuff going on with his lips as the other one did earlier. Oh gosh, you're getting smaller and smaller. Oh my gosh, it's a giant crappie. You're kidding me right now. The exact same thing happened last year with this bait, uh, this time of year, like the, the story I was telling you guys earlier. All right guys, Will, I haven't caught a bass in a while. I've been fishing pretty much the whole lake. I, I fished all the way of this and went all the way over to the other side. Now I'm all the way back here. So the bass kind of shut up. I don't know why, or else I've just covered all the water and caught all the fish that I want to eat. I'm going to make my way out back into the very middle of it, the deepest possible water I can find. Slow roll the spinnerbait back through it one more time before heading home. Well, it wasn't recording. I literally just casted my bait in, like let it fall and he hit it on the drop. So before I even turned on the GoPro, that fish ate it. I just lost a big fish. Can I get some bald eagle luck on the last cast? Apparently not. All right, well. Conditions are pretty treacherous right now. Temps drop like 10 degrees. Now it's freezing cold rain and there's still some wind coming through. So I'm gonna head up. This is a wrap for the day. I'm gonna go on home, eat some chicken nuggets, watch some uh, on my my old YouTube videos, catch up on some, some goodies, but oldies, I don't know, maybe I'll do that, who knows. But thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did, please drop a like below, I really appreciate it. Make sure you guys go out and uh, do some bass fishing while we have still a chance to do it. So, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys on the next one.